Hey everyone, I'm Joe Brady and we're here today to take a look at a great piece of gear for macro photography. If you currently have or you're looking to add a Canon or Sony camera to your photography toolkit, the NovaFlex Retro Automatic Reverse Adapters allow you to mount your standard lens reversed in such a way that you'll be able to produce amazing macro photos. Join me as we take a closer look. Wouldn't it be nice to take a small zoom lens, reverse it, and still have complete control of the lens as if it were mounted conventionally on your camera? If you have a Canon or a Sony NEX camera system, now that's an option. The NovaFlex EOS Retro and NEX Retro Automatic Reverse Adapters allow you to reverse mount your lens and it transfers all of the control functions to the camera. And would you believe that you can get a much wider range of magnification than with a macro lens? So let's take a closer look about how the whole system works when you're putting it on a camera. This thread on the front of the NovaFlex is a 58 millimeter. On this particular lens, it's a 49 millimeter thread. So here I have a 49 to 58 millimeter step up ring. So this just goes on the lens and then the lens screws into the receiving side. So now we have that attached and this is the front of the lens. This is now gonna go into the camera. Now I'm going to take the other end of the adapter and I'm going to attach it to the lens. Now this used to be the back, this is now to the front of the lens and since this has its own thread, once again I have the ability to seal the back of the lens from the outside world by putting a filter over front of it. And this will keep everything sealed and keep you from having any problems about getting dust in the back of your lens. So onto the camera this whole thing goes. And there we are. And I have also, I have the lens cap for this system connected to the camera itself to keep the whole system clean and free of dirt and dust. So there we go. So I'm going to mount this up onto the head here and we're going to take some shots. Now, since I'm going to want to go very close, I'm going to want to have the ability to add a little bit of extra depth of field. Well, to do that, I'm going to have to take multiple shots. One shot is when you get that close is not going to give you that much depth of field even when you're stopped down. So what I'm gonna do is use the focus peaking capability of the mirrorless camera, and I'm gonna take multiple shots from front to back with the focus moving for each shot. So we'll see this up close on the back of the camera, and then you're gonna see the results. So let's take some shots. All right, so what I've chosen to do in this setup is photograph something that it's obvious what it is, so you get a little bit of sense of scale. I've got the camera zoomed down close up to a Real close up of the eyes of Ben Franklin on a $100 bill. So it'll give you a sense of scale. All right, so here we can see the focus peaking turned on and there we see uh, Ben Franklin's eyes. And again, as I grab the focusing ring, notice as I move it back and forth, you can see the yellow moving from front to back, showing you everything that is in focus in that particular shot. Okay, so there's our first shot. Let's move the focus back a little bit in the field. There's number two, number three, take it back even further, yeah, I think maybe two more. All right, and then the last one, we'll go all the way back. All right, there's our shots from near to far, and we'll put it all together in software. So here's the software, and it is incredibly easy to use. So I'm going to grab my images, which happened to be 39 through 43. Here they are just on my desktop. So I'm just gonna drag them in here and watch how fast this is. I simply click on render. And there's, you can see there's our first image. And look on the right, you can see now from right here all the way back, it's now in focus. And then you just save it. That's how easy it is. And it's ridiculously easy. And I already saved it as a stacked file. So I'll show that to you and give it a name, etc. So I'm gonna stop that because I'm going to clear these images and bring in one more I did with the bill where I added a flower and that was 59, a little bit more shots, 59 through 65. Let's bring those in. Let's go ahead and click on render. It does its magic and look at that. Now we've got it from focus from the bottom left hand corner all the way up. That's just incredible stuff and that's literally how easy it is. You can see from our results that the NovaFlex Retro systems work beautifully and is completely simple to use. 
You can also adapt it to a wide variety of wide angle and zoom lenses by simply adding the appropriate step up or step down rings so that the 58 millimeter thread on the adapter will mount into your lenses filter thread. I've always been interested in macro photography. It's an entire new world, but I didn't go so far as to purchase a dedicated macro lens. The capabilities this system adds to my existing lenses and the magnification range that is possible make this a perfect solution for me. If you're a Canon or Sony shooter and interested in exploring the fascinating world of macro photography, the NovaFlex Retro Automatic Reverse Adapter just might be the best solution yet. Video Shopping Network, an Amazon affiliate. To see this product on Amazon, click the link in the video description below. You'll be able to see current pricing, product reviews, and any special deals. Desktop users should see the Amazon Quick link below the video. Mobile users will need to click the little down arrow below the video first.